Hi, welcome back. We've been investigating sequences of 3n plus 1 operations, like up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, and solving for the m that if you put it through those operations, you get the same m back out. And if m's an integer, then we have a loop, a 3n plus 1 counterexample. If we can show that m can never be an integer, then we've solved half the 3n plus 1 problem. So far, we focused on loops with about 60% up moves and 40% down moves. That makes sense. If a loop consists of large numbers, then three up moves will multiply the start number by about three halves, three halves, three halves, or 27 over 8. And two down moves will multiply that by a half, a half, ending up with about 27 over 32 m, which is in the vicinity of m. Uh, and on charts like this, we've been choosing k to be the ceiling of x log 3. But even if we ruled out integer loops on these charts, we might be missing a counterexample loop where k is x log 3 plus 1 or x log 3 plus 2. So uh, let's ask for how many kx pairs uh, do we need to account. So here's an easy case first, the case of all circuit loops. Remember the bottom of a circuit loop is 3x to the x minus 2 to the x over 2 to the k minus 3 to the x. And down the left side are values of x and across the top values of k. Now everything in this region uh, down here where k is less than ceiling x log 3, uh, the denominator is negative, so the bottom member of the circuit is also negative, and we don't uh, need to check those. And in this upper region where k is greater than ceiling x log 3, uh, that makes the denominator bigger than the numerator, so we don't need to check those either. So in other words, for every x, there's exactly one k that we need to check, which is the one we've been checking, which makes things nice. So here's our old friend, x equals 5, k equals 8, m equals 211 over 13. Does 13 divide 211 evenly? Yes. I'm just kidding. It doesn't. There's no 3n plus 1 counterexample with length k equals 8. Okay, now let's consider all possible loops, not just circuits. Actually, we only need to consider high loops. That's because if the bottom member of the kx high loop is less than 1, uh, like up here, then we know the bottom members of all other kx loops are also less than 1. Okay, so now we've got a lot more kx pairs where m is greater than 1, as you can see here. And given x, we have to consider k's between x log 3 and 2 times x, or about between 1.58x and 2x. The light blue cells have m between 1 and 2, yellow cells have m between 2 and 3, black cells have m bigger than 5. And here's what happens if we run the chart out to hundreds of values of x and k. Now all of these are just empirical observations, but we can also give some theoretical bounds on where these regions are. So suppose we pick k around c times x for some c. Here's the formula for the bottom of the kx high loop, which amazingly simplifies to 1 over 2 to the c minus 3. Um, you know, and this is an approximation. And here's the plot of that function. If k is more than 2 times x, then the high loop bottom is less than 1 and definitely not an integer. But suppose we want to focus on loops whose members are bigger than 5. That's very reasonable because any trajectory with a number less than 5 is not a 3n plus 1 counterexample, because 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, they all go to 1. They're not participating in any counterexample loop. Uh, so then we only need to check values of k between x log 3 and 1.68x. Of course, we only care about checking loops whose members exceed 10 to the 20th, not just 5, because any trajectory with a number less than that goes to 1. And in that case, we only need to check a tiny number of k values. But tiny is a relative term, because once we hit very large x, the number of k values we need to check is going to grow linearly with x. It's not like we can limit ourselves to one value of k per x, like in the circuit case, or even 100 values or any finite number. So at an abstract level, it's still going to look something like this chart growing and growing. So maybe it's simpler just to make sure we cover all the cases of k up to 2 times x, or uh, all values of k. But if we're looking for a 3n plus 1 counterexample, um, we'll only find them in the black region close to the 
uh, borderline. Okay, um, thanks for watching and see you next time.